the big story, really one of the only stories, a race to determine the next president of the United States of America coming down to a few battleground states where ballots are still being counted. Joe Biden leads with 264 electoral votes right now. President Trump has 214. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. The battleground states of Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia are getting closer to wrapping up their vote counts. The anticipation is we will continue to go through the process throughout the day and into the evening if necessary. The race remains too close to call in those states, with Democratic nominee Joe Biden holding a slight lead in the western states and President Trump with an edge in Georgia. If Biden picks up two of those states, he will be the next president. It's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. Or Pennsylvania could send Biden to the White House. President Trump is leading in the Keystone State, but the majority of outstanding ballots are in Democratic-friendly areas. I feel very good about Pennsylvania. Virtually all the remaining ballots to be counted were cast by mail. The president tweeted this morning, stop the count. The president promised he would send in the lawyers, and that's exactly what he's doing with the campaign filing lawsuits in multiple states. The president dispatched his son and personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, to Philadelphia Wednesday. We are going to continue the lawsuit here. We're going to bring a second one, and then we're going to bring a federal lawsuit. Republicans say they are planning to file a new lawsuit in Nevada today. That's on top of lawsuits already filed in Georgia and Michigan, and a demand for a recount in Wisconsin. You're talking about less than 1%, about 0.7% of the vote is the difference uh, between the two candidates. And as you just alluded to, it's about 21,000 votes. Typically hundreds, not thousands of votes uh, shift in an election uh, statewide. The Biden campaign says it will fight the lawsuits to make sure every vote is counted. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The Biden campaign has started fundraising to help offset legal costs. It has also set up a website to begin the transition process. Now, 